Okay, so polynomial long division is a topic that we often encounter in pre-calculus, and you know, it's often unclear why we're learning exactly why, you know, why we need to know how to do something like this. I mean, we're used to seeing in the past something um, you know, more like you know, factoring or using the quadratic formula or something to solve for roots, and it's like, okay, well, why would we need, why would we need to do this at all? So uh, the reason we need to know this is for later on in calculus and in differential equations when we do things like, you know, for integral calculus, this is going to really help Unless you know this, you won't be able to do a lot of things in calculus. And differential equations, the same thing applies. So it's very essential for us to know how to be able to uh, do polynomial long division like this. And it simplifies, you know, polynomial long division is just like, essentially like regular division with integers, except for instead of integers, you have, you have integer coefficients on a, polyno on a polynomial, in this case, quadratic um, function here. So the, pr the procedure that we're going to use to do the polynomial long division is the same as the one that we would use for regular integer long division. So we can set this up. So first of all here, the problem asks you to divide x squared minus 5x plus 6 by x minus 3. And so if you notice, x minus 3 is actually a factor of x squared minus 5x plus 6. If you factor out x squared minus 5x plus 6, you just get x, x minus 3, x minus 2. So that's going to be a great way for us to be able to check our work after we complete this problem, which we'll do at the end. So the way that we're going to set this up is we're going to go ahead and copy down this polynomial here, x squared minus 5x plus 6. And we're going to divide everything here. Just set this up exactly as you would a regular integer long division. Divide this all by x minus 3. Okay, so a way that you can think about this now is we need to find something that, to multiply x minus 3 by to get it to go into x squared. So we can think here x squared, we just take the first term here, x squared, and we divide it by this out here, which is x. And we get x, assuming x is not equal to 0. OK, so we get x there. So it looks like we're going to multiply everything here by x. Put the x plus here above the x term on the negative 5x, just for consistency. And then we're going to go ahead and multiply x by distribute the x over x and minus 3. So x times x is x squared. And x times negative 3 is going to be negative 3x. And just like when we're doing regular long division, we're going to subtract everything here. So the signs will reverse. So x squared minus x squared is going to be 0. And negative 5x minus a negative 3x is going to be negative 2x. And then we're going to go ahead and drop down the plus 6. OK, so now we have negative 2x plus 6. So we're going to need to go ahead and do the same thing as we did over here. So we take this leading term here, negative 2x. We can divide it by x to see what we're going to need to multiply by. So negative 2x divided by x is just going to be equal to negative 2. OK, great. So it looks like we're going to need to multiply everything here by negative 2. So we write the negative 2 here above the 6. And we multiply negative 2 by x, which is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. OK, so we're going to subtract these expressions, this expression here from this expression here. And we see that they're the same, so we end up getting 0. So we have no remainder, and we've just found our answer. So a quick way that we can check to see what our answer is, is uh, to check to make sure that our answer is correct, is to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 3 to make sure that we get our original expression. So just quickly here, x minus 3 times x minus 2 is going to be equal to using the distributive formula or distributive property here, x times x is equal to x squared. Uh, x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be positive 6. And this is equal to, in fact, here, our original expression, which is x squared minus 5x plus 6. So as we can see, we have, correct, we have correctly executed our polynomial long division because we ended here with our original expression. So that would be the method that you would use to go about doing a polynomial long division problem. To see additional pre-calculus practice problems, you can click this link here. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. To visit our website, you can click here. And finally, to return to the main menu, click here. As a reminder, if you haven't already done so, you can purchase the pre-calculus blueprint by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Remember, it's only $1.95. Thank you for watching.